Now in these examples, these are exactly the same. Our A is positive, but in this case, our constant term is negative. Now the only way to have two numbers multiply together to get a negative number is if you have a positive times a negative number. Now again, our A is positive, so we're only going to use the positive factors of our leading coefficient. So if we have 5x squared plus 9x minus 2, I'm only going to consider the positive factors of 5. In this case, 1 and 5. Now my factors of negative 2 are either negative 1 and 2 or 1 and negative 2. I have to consider them both because I don't know which one is supposed to be positive or negative. Now I need to find combinations of these numbers that will multiply and add to get us 9. First I'm going to try 1 times negative 1 and 5 times 2. If I do that I'll have 1 times negative 1 plus 5 times 2. Well 5 times 2 is 10 and 1 times negative 1 would be negative 1. If we add those together we get 9. Which is exactly what we were looking for. So that means that our n is 1, our b is negative 1, our m is 5, and our a is 2. So if we plug those values in to our factored form, we'll have 1x plus 2 for a times 5x, because our m is 5, minus 1, because our b is negative 1. And our factored form of 5x squared plus 9x minus 2 is x plus 2 times 5x minus 1. Here we try this again. We have 6x squared minus 5x minus 4. My a is positive, so I'm only going to consider positive factors of my leading coefficient. In this case, 1 and 6 and 2 and 3. Now my constant term is negative or less than 0. And to get a negative constant term, you have to multiply a positive and negative number together. So to get negative 4, I can do that with negative 1 and 4, 1 and negative 4, and 2 and negative 2. So I need to find combinations of numbers that will add together to get negative 5. So you need to continue to check different combinations of these numbers until you find one that gets negative 5. In this case, I'm going to use 2 times negative 4 plus 3 times positive 1. If I do that, we'll have 2 times negative 4 plus 3 times 1. Now 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 and 3 times 1 is 3. So 3 plus negative 8 would be negative 5, which is what we were looking for. So that means that our n is 2, our b is negative 4, our m is 3, and our a is 1. And if we plug those back into our factored form, we'll end up with 2x, because our n is 2, plus our a, which is 1, and this is all multiplied by 3x because our m is 3 and this is plus our b which in this case is negative 4. So our factor form would be 2x plus 1 times 3x plus negative 4. Now the last thing we're going to talk about is what happens when our leading coefficient is less than 0 or if our leading coefficient is negative. Well the only way to get a negative number as a leading coefficient is to multiply two numbers together and those numbers one has to be positive and one has to be negative. But if you do this it creates a lot more combinations of factors that you would have to multiply and add and check to try to find your linear coefficient in this case 28. Instead of doing that what we're going to do is factor out a negative one from every term. 
If we do that, we'll have negative 1 times a positive 5x squared minus 28x minus 12. Now you have, inside these parentheses, a positive leading coefficient and a negative constant term. Well, we've already factored problems like this. First, we need to find factors of our leading coefficient. In this case, it's positive, so we only consider the positive factors, in this case, 1 and 5. And my factors of my negative 12 are negative 1 and 12, 1 and negative 12, 2 and negative 6, negative 2 and positive 6, negative 3 and 4, and 3 and negative 4. Now you have to continue to check these numbers and try to find a combination that will give you negative 28. The combination that works is 1 times 2 and 5 times negative 6. If we do this, we'd have 1 times 2 plus 5 times negative 6. Now 1 times 2 is 2, and we add that to 5 times negative 6, or negative 30, which is negative 28, which is what we were looking for. And that means that our n is 1, our b is 2, our m is 5, and our a is a negative 6. So the factored form then would be 1x, because our n is x, plus our a, which in this case is a negative 6, times mx, which in this case is 5x, and then plus b, which in this case is 2. And then don't forget about your negative 1. It goes on the outside. And this is the factored form of negative 5x squared plus 28x plus 12. And that completes the tutorial on trinomial factoring.